Hello and welcome. Uh, I have written a little strip script to wrap around terminals. Um, I use term in Emacs quite a lot, day-to-day uh, -day for work. Uh, one of the things that frustrates me is renaming a terminal. So by default, if you run term, um, yep, run that, it, you get a terminal with the buffer name uh, star terminal start. So if I just uh, go back to dashboard and then I run term again, uh, it just goes to the same one. I can prove that if I just do test. So I've echoed out test. And then I go back and then I run term. Yes, run that. And as you can see, it just goes back to this terminal. Um, you can, oh, actually, I should probably, yeah, run that. You can um, uh, change modes and then rename buffer test terminal and I'll do that and then you can uh, go go back to normal kind of term mode um, but you know that's a bit annoying to do every time you open a terminal so I wrote a little script so I'll just uh, kill that if I go to my bookmarks go to yep yeah, well let's open the config anyway because we're going to need to and now if I also open um, named term. Uh, so this function, all it does is it takes a name, um, launches the term terminal. If the string, if, if you don't add a name, if you don't type anything and you just hit return, it'll create the star terminal star buffer name. Otherwise it'll create the terminal, it'll open the terminal and then rename the buffer immediately and then you have a name terminal. So let's uh, just go over here and we will um, emacs lisp. Uh, so all we need to do here is um, load file, which will be the emacs, uh, emacs.d um, named term.el should get the syntax highlighting. So then if I execute that, that should be there. So if I do named term, I should be asked for a name. So then I can say um, name term test, run it, and I get named term test. So then if I um, just go back to here and I say I do it again, um, named term, and I don't give it a name, just run that, I get the um, star terminal star. So the kind of default reusable reusable buffer. So let's just cancel that, kill that. Um, obviously that's fine, but it's also useful to, uh, to invoke this quickly without having to um, write it all the time. So we can just define a key combination. So if I just do control X T, Nothing's there at the minute, control X. And you could just do this and confirm. Nope, nothing there. So control X T um, and I just want it to run named term because we've already loaded it. So if I then execute that, I can do control X T, give it a name, test term named to the reloaded version. Uh, yep, run that and it loads. One thing to note is that I do have to, um, I, I have to, to make um, the ZSH RC, uh, to make the ZSH uh, config work properly. There is, uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, so there's this environment variable called inside Emacs. So you need to um, explicitly excuse me, you need to explicitly include or check if inside Emacs is set. And if so, you need to explicitly export your ZSH theme. Otherwise your theme won't work and you'll just get the default ZSH. Um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll put a link to this. Uh, it'll just be like a gist or whatever. Uh, if you find it useful, then feel free to use it. Um, and hopefully it'll make using terminals a little bit better for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.